Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at actions in animation nodes. So what is an action? Well, in this context, an action is the animation of an object. So location, rotation and scale. Um, let's just take a look. I'm going to go in here and create, first of all, let me switch on screencast keys. I'm going to create an object, maybe a torus. And you know, you can create uh, keyframes and then animate the object using those keyframes and then you can have F curves. So you have smooth uh, transitions. So I'm just gonna hit I and choose location rotation scale um, on frame one here. Then maybe I go to frame 50, uh, GX, RX 90 and I location rotation scale again. I will set the length of my animation to 100 frames and then um, I'm going to go to one, frame 100, maybe G, C, R, Y, 90, oh, R, X, 90, and then maybe scale down a little and hit I, location, rotation, scale. So basically now we have this sort of animation, moves over, rotates, and then flies up and gets smaller. Okay. So that's our animation. Now go to animation nodes, create a new node tree, and then we can go to shift A, and here we have the action menu. And we can take an action from an object, and that's what I wanna do. That's why I created this animation on the torus. I can eyedropper in the torus. And then, just like with most things in animation nodes, we have the, the input, and then we have do stuff with it and then we have an output so we have an object action output node and i like to switch this over to transforms so now here we can plug in a list of objects then add some actions and we can also add an offset so let's do something more interesting how about i'm gonna create a suzanne monkey head and i will take an object instancer Take the monkey head, create five monkey heads. Then I want to, now, the, now we have five monkey heads, but they're all in the same location. So I want to distribute them a little bit. And there's an easy way to do that with a matrix distribute node. Set this to linear. So we have a line of objects. How many do we want? Well, this many basically. Um, and I'm gonna set it to step two. So we have, um, this distribution we have to distribute these objects maybe using this action from the torus with these offsets and now all that's missing is the frame to actually get an animation and we can get the frame with shift a animation time info plug in the frame so now our torus let me also hide my Suzanne. So the torus is moving and all of the monkey heads that were created here in animation nodes are also following the same animation. Okay, so we're just taking the animation from the torus and assigning it to our objects. All of this down here is just basically to create the five monkey heads. Okay, cool. What else can we do? Well, there's a cool node in here in the actions menu that is the delay action node and we can plug that in here. So it takes an action and it outputs an action and it delays the action and the animation by five frames, which is very cool because we can do stuff like this. Okay. Now there's another way to actually create an action. We can not only take one from an existing object, we can also follow a spline. So action, follow spline action. Uh, so of course we need a spline. I'm gonna hide the torus, shift A curve, and I'm gonna take the curly curve. If you don't have all of these options in here, just enable the uh, curve extra objects add-on that comes with Blender, and then you have all these options. The curly curve looks like this from the top. Okay, and we can eyedropper that in here, do 100 frames and just take that action. Okay, what does that look like? So now our monkey heads are all following that curve. Of course, we can also 
delay this action again with the delay action node and then it looks like this which is very neat okay so maybe turn this down to 50 so they move faster so you can already see that um, it is a very quick and easy way to uh, create or to use actions the animations um, of objects or to follow a spline okay what else can we do here so let me take this out of the way here so if i hit shift a again what else do we have we can chain actions and we can overlay actions and you can see both of them take two actions as inputs and create a new action output so how about let's um well, i'm gonna keep this in here so we have two actions here already. We have the one that's following the curve and then we have the one that's just following whatever we keyframed into the torus. So let's chain those together with the chain action node. What does that look like? So first of all, they're following the curve and then they're doing whatever the torus is doing. I guess I have to turn up my frames here to make my animation longer. And now you can see this is what the torus is doing. I can enable the torus here so you can see that. So first they're following that curve and then they're doing the torus animation because we chained the actions together. Um, instead of chaining, we can overlay them so that both actions are, are overlaid at the same time, not uh, one after the other. So what if we do that? plug that in here use this so now we have sort of an overlay the first act is, takes 50 frames the torus is 100 frames i guess i have to switch this to 102 so now we should have both animations you can see both actions are now happening at the same time following the curve and following whatever the torus is doing with sort of lifting up and scaling down. Cool. And then the last node that we have in here is the wiggle action node. So this doesn't take in an action or an object or a spline. It just creates a new action. Um, and the way you use that is, so maybe I'm just going to take this and move it out of the way a little bit. So this will be the delay. Now let's just look at what the wiggle action node does. Plug that in here. First of all, we have nothing in here. We have to hit the add button and then it says path or we can uh, select path index. So the path here is a blender data path. What's a data path? And you can see here that uh, you have values. Like for example, the location is a vector with an X, Y and a C. And you can always right click and say copy data path. And that's exactly what you need here. So you can paste that in here. You can see the location of an object in Blender in the source code basically is called location. Now, if I hit uh, play right now, nothing's happening. I'm gonna hide the torus because we don't need it anymore and the curly curve. So nothing is happening. The location path is actually a vector with X, Y, Z and we can only wiggle a single value. So we could have um, put in here dot X. And then if nothing's still happening, sometimes it helps to reconnect the noodles in animation nodes. And you can see now we have a wiggle on the X value. So they're wiggling on the X axis. Um, another way to do this is to take out this dot X and just select path index. And now they're also wiggling on the X axis. Or if I take the uh, the second value of a vector would be the Y axis. Now they're wiggling on the Y axis and now they're wiggling on the C axis. And we could, if we wanted to combine two wiggle actions, of course, we can take a overlay action node and plug two wiggle nodes into that. Or we can just simply add another wiggle here. For example, let's take the rotation. So again, right click, copy data path, paste it in here, select path index. And again, we have to reconnect this. And what do we have? We have a wiggle on the Y axis now, and we have a rotation wiggle on the X axis. So maybe take the C axis, 
right? So we're combining two wiggle animations. Wiggle is basically a noise pattern. You can change the seed, you can change the amplitude, so you can make it really big, right? So the wiggle action node creates an action and it's a very quick and easy way to create this kind of random movement, almost like a Brownian stuff. Actions are a quick and easy way to animate things based on animations of a different object or maybe to follow a spline. You can chain actions, you can overlay them, you can create some sort of random wiggle uh, movement. Animation nodes is a free add-on for Blender. And uh, if you're interested in that, I have a bunch of videos here on my channel. I also have an introduction to animation nodes tutorial series free here on YouTube. It's for beginners, so you get to know animation nodes and the whole node tree setup. I hope that actions can help you in your animations, motion graphics, whatever you do. Um, as always, a subscription would be awesome. Thank you for watching. Crispy out.